Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Parak and in today's video we're going to take on a level 220 Chaotic Gore Megala. And today we're going to be using my classic Frostcraft hammer build. As you can see here is the skills, all the green numbers here are from decorations if you want to copy it. And here's the armor pieces, nothing too special on them, just try and get build up boost 3 and then augment full attack on the weapon with a attack boost 3 talisman. And here is our quest. I'm just now realizing I didn't change either of uh, Hanoa or Itsushi into, well, back to Hunting Horn, so this will be interesting. I did swap to a healing palico for the first time to see if that's a bit better, because I realized uh, the healing horn might actually serve the same purpose as Hanoa usually does with healing me every couple minutes. At least that's the, the plan with it, because generally speaking, their AI isn't too bad, so they should hopefully heal me when needed, opposed to just healing me whenever I get low. Okay. Funnily enough, I think I've, by the time this video goes out, the Extreme Chaotic Gormagala video should be out. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. Um, definitely planning on editing the, another special collab with them. It was very fun. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, okay. We almost ran directly into that. In uh, chaotic gore fashion. There we go. Another hit. Keeping sway through that one. We want to try and get our impact burst back here quickly. After this stun, maybe. Actually, we'll do it after one charge brutal big bang. Because we should have time to do it. Because he'll have a weird shake it off animation. One, two, three. If we just position like here. There we go. Easy stuff. We take a hit, but that's fine. We should be able to heal it back up pretty easily since we're using a hammer. Just make sure you hit a decent weak point and you'll get a ton of health back, like so. Okay, nice. We broke the stance. We'll just do a step smash into a charge brutal big bang. We won't have time for anything else, so we won't go for anything else. There we go. Yep. Oh, unfortunate. Wanted to get away from that attack, not roll into it. You should be able to guess. Right about there. And then we'll impact burst again to build up some powder mantle. Like swings. Get out of there. Has the same attack pattern as Volcano with that. Every time he dodges, he'll do a lunge forward like that. So, it's pretty easy to watch out for. That shouldn't reach us at all. Very easy. Okay. Let's get some Frostcraft charge and grab that wire bug. Frostcraft isn't too, too good on this, as I, as I mentioned in the build itself. It only really helps you out if you take a lot of damage. Which, some days I do, some days I'm playing decently. Step smash, because we won't have time for anything else. Go through this, it always goes diagonal with this one, so you should be pretty safe to just, uh, keeping sway through it. Or use any invulnerability you have through it, should work pretty well. We're on the right side of him this time, so we should be able to land this hit pretty easily. Assuming he doesn't get up, and then build up some powder mantle with our impact burst. As well as intrepid heart if we didn't already have it. Nice, he's bound. Thanks to one of the followers dogs. Oh, I'm glad I noticed. <laughs> I thought he was going for one of the followers, not me, but that's okay. Oh, he's leaving. Perfect. Just give him a smack on the face on the way out. Activate the Felvine, because I keep forgetting that that exists, honestly. Do not act out of this. Since he doesn't have, like, any way of seeing you, he'll just act immediately as he senses you. So, you got to be quite careful coming off your, uh, Palamute. Oh, he didn't move his hand. That's okay, at least we got that pip damage in. We broke one, so that was worth it. Just a straightforward ball. Side, side, forward. There we go. We missed the punish, but that's okay. We've got to miss some of them. Would be a speedrunner otherwise. <laughs> Even though some of them still miss some attacks. But, uh, that's the nature of Monster Hunter. Can you get off that ledge, please? Charge? No? There we go. Does that thrust forward after every dodge, like I said. Oh, really? We're nuking one of them. There's some healing clover bats behind me, so we'll just do some damage to that pip. Intrepid Heart through it, and then we'll heal with the bats. We didn't have our weapon out, but that's okay. Maybe the Health Horn comes in clutch. 
Yep, there we go. How much does this heal? Okay, that's much slower than a, a Dust of Life, but it is at least a heal. And it does somewhat work. He should do a trample. Wow, that hitbox was so delayed. Okay, there's Hanoa's heal. So we've got no heals at the moment. That was a bit risky. I definitely should have just gone away. Might actually pop here soon. Why does he keep jumping up to the ledge, man? There's also a herbaceous healing thing over there. Side, side, front. There we go. We'll take that. I guess he's not popping today. Get another impact burst off as well. Just to get that damage buff and build up our pattern mental really quick. As well as the intrepid heart. You see the meter went up quite a bit. There we go. Give him a cheeky uppercut. Let's pop this healing as well. Just in case we take some damage here. Three. Ah, damn it. I was too early. That's okay. He has no gas. What are you doing? Can you get off this ledge, please? Thank you. He keeps jumping back onto it. It's quite annoying. Um, okay. I have no words for that one. Just get away. Why is he just sitting on this ledge, man? Come on. You know how I feel about ledges. Let's go over here. Hopefully he just follows along. Or I lose a free opening. That's fine. Come on, mate. Get over here. No. Uh, I suppose diving at sushi works there. At least he's off the ledge now. Okay. Act out of it. Yep. And the frontal. Easy stuff. Big damage. We'll take it. Now, if we get a mount, we're definitely going to take him into the other room there. Because it has a lot of uh, free damage. I was worried that he would have a shockwave, but he shouldn't. Okay. Side. So, bruh, come on. My luck with it starting directly on top of me is so bad. Hanoa healed me. Lovely. Again, don't act out of landing because he will sense you here and immediately attack. Don't want to get caught while you're uh, charging your hammer on the way down or anything. Or with whatever weapon you're using, obviously. Should go through it because we got defiance. Give him an uppercut because it's all we can fit in there. Dive. Just in case because we were too far to actually be under him. Okay. Bro, why the ledges, dude? Just gonna eat some steak if he wants to be a little, uh, little cheeky on this ledge. Okay. Can you get down here, please? This ledge is literally gonna get me killed. I'm already calling it. No, you don't. Okay. Really? Atsushi's gone down. That's a rarity right there. Is that not a stun? It's just a regular topple. Maybe he's getting pretty low then. Use this to build up our bloodlust really quick because we uh, have almost failed the bloodlust. Should be able to get two of these off because it's only our third stun. With the next stuns, we're going to start doing uh, big bangs, which is fine. We just lose a tiny bit of damage. Oh, nice rock or a bushi. I, I forget we've got a bushi today to try out a uh, healing palico because I figured it might be good with my playstyle. Since the uh, Palico don't generally do too, too much. It was either this or the um, uh, Silk Binder with the Poison Pitfall was going to be my other option. Oh my god, I was way too early. Powder Mantle though. Wow, that hitbox was super delayed. Okay, we've got to be a bit careful here. Should be getting close to getting stunned, so... And he's about to pop as well. Okay, what are we doing, buddy? Would love to get another trap or something down, just so we can get some free damage in. He's supernovering, so we missed the damage check. There's no need to trap anymore. That's why I was going to trap, but that's fine. Always make sure that uh, you wait a super long time before attacking on the anomaly pops. Because uh, it has such a lingering hitbox. Also, this ledge. Goodness, mate. Can you get off? 
Thank you. We'll definitely get us killed if we hang around there too long. Nice pitfall. It's actually really good timing because he didn't... Uh, if he's enraged, he usually can't uh, get affected by pitfalls. So that was really good timing. Let's just impact burst during this opening. Get our buff back. Get away. Again, it's diagonal, so either go straight forward or behind if you don't have your weapon out like I did again. Oh, we got a Roggy mount. That is so good. Or is that Baggy? I keep forgetting. I think... I think it's Roggy, because Baggy's usually the, uh, the blue one, I think. We might get a mount off this, which is good, because we can take him up to get beaten up by the bugs. Ledge again, thank you. It's going to be the theme of this video, apparently. It's, uh, getting cucked by the geometry in this map. Because he won't get off it. Yep, that definitely hit me, thank you. I appreciate that. Just keeping sway to make sure we get out of that dodge. Let's just get a hit in. Roll under him. Easy stuff. Uppercut. Okay, he's leaving, I think. We've got another healing clover. So it's been about 10 minutes now. Not looking at the time, but that's usually when the second one gets placed. Okay, there we go. Dodge away. Because that tail will uh, grab you every time. Okay, had to wait super long for that just to make sure we actually went through the right part of it. Ledge. Okay, we just missed it. Good. Nice. There's the anomaly pop. Broke his damage check. We're going to impact burst off this as well. Get our buff and build up some intrepid heart. Because it's been saving us. Oh, hello monkey. Lovely to see you, buddy. Oh, it's Furious as well. Um, Monkey might be able to kill him, honestly. So we might just take him to the hallway and bash him into both walls. And then into the monkey if we can. Okay. No, I think we're going to miss it, sadly. Nice, we got it. Optimal damage time. Monkey's probably going to get the kill as well, which is great. Look good on uh, Rajang's wall. Yeah, I figured as much. Nice. 13 minutes. It took a bit, thanks to him just sitting on ledges the entire hunt. Or in two of the zones, at least. Well, everybody, that was a level 220 Chaotic Gormagala with the hammer. Bit annoying that he kept going to zones that had ledges and then insisted on staying on top of them. But it happens. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.